coming from Texas. <laughs> I live in Valencia, but it is my favorite tie, okay? <laughs> just, this is just to, for you to warm up with my accent. Yeah? Sound testing, okay? The students here in the class do already know that it takes like two or three minutes. Ah, this is Enrique, okay? <laughs> so they miss two minutes of classes while they check my, my sound, my accent, and everything. So since I get always passionate about Spanish, when I have to talk, I will try to slow down my speech okay? so, so for you to understand much better what I mean. So, when I first met these two persons here, Reggie and Irene Gold, uh, was in 1979, Christmas Day. Uh, Reggie picked us up. I mean, when, I, when I mean us, I mean a group of Spanish people that were going to be the first class of the Philadelphia Spanish Auditorium, which was the first school in, in Spanish in the world. Okay? But I have heard about them back in 1977, I mean yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody introduced me about the concept of, at that time, straight chiropractic. Miguel and Michel, you know them very well, some of, I mean, especially Reginary. Uh, I was going there to have my, my spine checked, and fortunately enough, I, did, I, was, I was not having any pain or anything. I'm not that kind of person that, through the services of a chiropractor at that time, I got cured, and then I realized I have to study this. No, I was a normal guy studying uh, the university the law school university, she had not know what I was going there, <laughs> what I was doing there. But anyways, when, once I heard the message, I, one week later, I asked Miguel, where can I study that? And he told me, it's not the point where, it's the point with whom you should study this. And I think the best person that will teach you is Reggie Gold and his team. So I applied to Sherman College of State Chiropractic at that time, when I was about going there, he moved and, went and opened another school in Philadelphia, the Adio Institute of Street Chiropractic. So I applied to the school. And when I, I was about going to the States already, he left that school and opened the Philadelphia Spanish Tournament. So I went like, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> so I had the option, A, do you want to become a street chiropractor? Spend four years studying probably they have of it stuff that you will never use later? Or do you want to follow the instructions of the people who know Reggie and Irene and be with them and be taught by them? And I, thanks God, I took the second option. And I was part of the Philadelphia Spinal Torium first class with, with them. <clears throat> so, when I say Reggie, I always imply Irene. When I talk about Irene, I always imply Reggie. That's in my mind like this, and it will never change. <laughs> and today, uh, since you're here, I think it's a great idea to present to the public uh, my personal tribute to you. Okay? This is all about a personal tribute. Then you talk about Spanish. I'm tempted to talk about Spanish, but it's still turn. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about you. So, let's go. And this is the welcome to the European Community of Spanish. It's just something that's going on here. It started like in January. We are going to be as powerful as we can. We are going to have the, the European Association, which will belong to the World Council of Spanish. It's registered back in 1981 by him in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And these are some moments of the class here. That's Michelle over there, that's Barry with a, with a stand, and some moments of the class. And we can talk later about that, but let's move to another one. Aha! Okay, that's the really that I was going to meet in the chairman or the Abbey. Okay? When I met him, he decided what we're going. Okay? <laughs> So uh, yes, I just wanted to spinology first. Yeah, that's before the spinology profession started. That's how he looked, and that's how he radical was <laughs> in the sense of powerful. And he was a, a warrior in, in the chiropractic field. That's why he momentarily left chiropractic and started this new profession. He was sick of his colleagues of 
they, because they were losing or they lost eventually. This, they are still some of them are lost into the, the path. They were they were losing the path of and moving into things that supposedly chiropractic was not meant to be. Okay, so spinology was his baby, and we were part of the cells of the baby. But I just want to show you how it looked like in 1970 something. Okay, <laughs> another one. Uh huh. <laughs> This is the first ad that we had in a magazine called New Frontier in the United States <coughs> with the first logo and the first message and slogan that my friend Bob, you know my friend Bob and I, <laughs> designed. Spinology, wait a minute, unleashing your human potential. That was the slogan. Okay, something wrong. <laughs> okay, and this is the, the, the first and second class. Who is me? I will give you a, 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 a euro if you find where I am. So we were forced to come every single day to class with a spine hanging in our backs. He told us, they told us, you must come every day to class wherever you live with your spine. So people will ask you, what, is the, what the hell is that? <laughs> and what are you studying? And they will have the chance to talk about spinology. <clears throat> and this is the proof that everybody was doing that. This is just the entrance of the Philadelphia Spine Tutorial. Okay? Another one. Ah, oof. Ah, my God. <laughs> Shall I tell you something about this picture here? The one? You and I played racquetball for an hour he beat me like, I don't know. He was 22 at that time. He was more than me at that time. <laughs> and he said, well, I'm going to beat this, old, this guy. I mean, no. He beat me like crazy. I was <gasps> breathing heavily. And we went to the shower. He removed his t-shirt. And I saw a big sand belt, 20 pounds belt. And that really depressed me. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we went to their house in Yarli, and we had a nice paella. Paella, you know, paella. Mm -hmm. Typical Spanish rice, Valencian rice. <coughs> That's PJ, the other teacher that we have. I have never seen such a great technician, I mean, uh, such a great teacher in technique like PJ. We learned everything from her. She had the patience that she needed to have, and if we work like we do now, it's mainly, technically speaking, because of her. Okay? So, that's my friend Bob and I, right there. <laughs> okay. At the end of the Philadelphia Spine Auditorium. And this is eventually the first class. We were 12 in the beginning. You remember that, right, Eric? Okay. Go to say, like, everybody's there, okay? <laughs> Just a little bit of history. Spine already started and started growing. In, during those years, four tutorial, four schools were functioning at the same time. Philadelphia, San Francisco, Cusco, in Peru, and Valencia, Spain. <coughs> Irene. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's Irene Gold. In the first open house that we had in the school, the first one, we opened the doors to the public. Reggie gave a lecture. I'm not going to talk about the lecture in the hotel in, in, in New York when I 